Hello everyone. Today we are going to create a Windows application able to connect to any OnVIF video camera and display the outcoming video stream. This program is very simple. We type the camera IP address, login and password, and click on connect. As you can see, we have a list of streaming and we can select which one to display in our window. And here is the camera video. The first step is creating a new project. Then we proceed to add the UI elements of our choice. To visualize the camera stream, we download and install VLC library and wrapper. Let's add an event to the connect button. We create a custom URI builder. The constructor requires the OnVIF service address. To use OnVIF online services, we need to add them to our solution references. So right click, add service reference, and we add our links. First device, and then media. And now we are ready to use them. But first, a bit of string manipulation because we need to check if our address also contains a port or not. So we split our string. And we add the first part to our URI as host. Then we check if there is a second part, and in case, this is going to be the port. So we add it to the URI as port. We then proceed to create our device client. The constructor here takes a binding and remote address. Therefore, we are going to make one. Our authentication scheme We use digest here. Let's set up our custom binding. SOAP 12 and other specs. And finally, we add our binding to the client. our camera remote address, then we proceed to retrieve all the services from the device. Here we can check if they contain any media. And if we find any media, we try to log into the service. Let's add a couple of fields to our class to save some data after the login and a collection of profiles. We create a new media client with this data. We then pass our login credentials
password. And impersonation. And finally, we request all the profiles from the media. We check if we receive any. And in case, we use them to populate our UI. Important now is adding the call to the player that will show our video. We check if we have any saved profile and if the user selected any on the UI. And if so, we proceed to create a new URI to receive the specific media. As usual, we pass host, port, and scheme. Let's create the options for our media player passing the URI informations. Log in. And password. And finally, we play our video. We add our event to the user stream selection on the UI. And last, we need to make sure that our program can access the correct installation of the media player. So we update the correct folder location in case it's needed. Let's call the end of the initialization phase. Okay, now we can test if everything is working. Connect. We receive the channels. And the video is working.